Yeah, these are the Flying Eyes Hawk convertible headset friendly sunglasses with these ultra thin bendable temples. Now here at the magazine, we've been covering the Flying Eyes line since somewhere around 2013 when they first hit the market. I liked them so much I bought a pair for myself, even had my own prescription put in them. And uh, these glasses have been the most versatile accessory in my flight bag. They work great underneath my motorcycle helmets, underneath my snowboard helmets, and they work pretty well for flying. Now the Flying Eyes line of glasses has come a long way since the early days of these Hawks, even though the Hawks are still in the lineup, they're sort of the workhorse of the line. And uh, to find out what's going on with the line of Flying Eyes uh, sunglasses, I caught up with company founder Dean Syracusa, who had some good advice for folks shopping the uh, Pilot sunglasses market. I had a Pelter uh, a and R headset from that era, from the 90s, and it, you know, it worked pretty well, but it wasn't very tight fitting, and, and then I finally stepped up to a proper uh, Bose, uh, a really good Bose headset, uh, the, the, the 10 uh, from years ago, and realized that, um, you know, modern a and headsets are, are tight fitting in order to, for, that, for that electronic noise canceling to work as efficiently as possible. It has to be very tight fitting. And uh, I noticed with my regular glasses, it, it always bothered me. I get headaches and noise leaks, and you could just tell that it, the, the, when I wasn't wearing glasses, I'd get a better seal than when I was wearing glasses, and I, I was just frustrated by it and, and um, decided to do something about it. This was about 2010, and I spent two years uh, doing R&D and uh, came up with our first frame style, which had, uh, was our Hawk convertible. It had interchangeable temples. It had the the standard temples for everyday wear and the micro thin temples and a and a and a strap and cinch system that that was literally a piece of thin fabric that you have uh, and that we still sell. Uh, it's been a very popular frame. Um, use it for for all kinds of purposes. Uh, when we introduced them in 2013, we quickly realized a, a couple of things. One that people are using them for far more than aviation. Uh, they're using them for motorcycling for oh gosh, first responders, firefighters, anybody that has to wear a helmet or a headset was buying our glasses, which is great. Um, the other thing I realized was that the uh, people wanted ideally to just put on a pair of glasses. They didn't want to have to interchange the, the, the temples or anything like that. And a lot of them were just leaving the strap and cinch on, on the glasses and leaving, leaving them in the airplane because they, they cared about them so much. They liked them so much for that purpose. But what I wanted to do was create a, a frame that you could just wear all the time. And so I set about to doing more R&D and discovered the material, a uh, special aerospace polymer. It's like I said, it's primarily used in aerospace uh, that can be molded very, very thin, uh, much thinner than uh, any other any other material and is totally unbreakable. Uh, it You can bend it any way you like and it's going to just go back to its its uh, original shape, um, which is a millimeter thin. So they, when you put on a headset, you don't feel it. And, uh, and that's the secret to our glasses. Uh, this year, we just introduced uh, a new frame shape that is a classic aviator shape uh, in different colors. Uh, we have, we have uh, silver and, uh, and the gold and uh, with different lens options. And the reason for that is not just, just to give people additional fashion options, but the reality is that everybody, there's so many different head shapes and sizes and in order to accommodate as many people as possible so that they fit properly under their headset, we need different sizes of, and shapes of, of glasses. So it's, it's really our core focus is to uh, solve the problem first and then make sure that they look great on our customers as well. So um, that's, uh, that's why we're introducing additional frame shapes and we'll continue to do so as well. Um, it, one of the key features to our glasses in addition to being uh, very, very thin, is that shape. And that shape uh, allows them to go around your head, not over your, not around your ears. So when you have a headset on or a full face helmet on, these go, these wrap right around your uh, glasses, or sorry, right, right around your head, so that, yeah, so they stay on your head, even if, yeah, 
even if you're looking down, you, you, you know, you drop something on the ground, they're not going anywhere. They, they stay on your head and yet you can leave your headset on. If it, you know, you go into a cloud, you can take them off and just put them right back on. You don't need to touch your headset at all. So now uh, we've got versions of these frames that can be fitted with, with the prescriptions. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? About that? Sure. So all of our glasses are prescription compatible. What that means is, is any uh, optician that is, has a lab or uses a lab that is capable of putting prescription lenses in, in sport frames, you know, the glasses that have a, a lot of wrap to them, they're not just ophthalmic frames are glasses that you just have prescription lenses. Um, we don't carry those yet. We're working on it. But in the meantime, uh, more and more uh, higher end labs uh, can do prescription lenses for sunglass frames. The other, um, uh, the other option is if you just need, if you're, getting, if you're over 40 and you have presbyopia um, and you just need readers, um, we can sell non-prescription readers in-house now directly through our website. And that allows you to uh, just see the, see the instrument panel closer uh, or easier or your PFD uh, or your, your iPad. Um, and uh, all of them have a different, we have different strengths, 1.5, 2, and 2.5. Uh, I wanted to bring up the fact that all of our glasses, um, in, including the clear lenses, block 100% of UV light. Uh, the higher you go in altitude, um, and this is especially critical for airline pilots or, or corporate pilots that are flying in the flight levels, uh, UV light is very, very intense. And in fact, if you're not wearing some form of eye protection, whether it's our glasses or somebody else's, some form of eye protection, by the, towards the end of your career, uh, you will have macular de degeneration. You will de develop uh, a lot of eye uh, um, issues because you're not protecting them. Uh, it's, it is uh, uh, multiples of, of increase in, in UV light as you go higher in altitude. So it's really, really critical that you, you, be, you protect your eyes. Um, and in fact, uh, a few years ago, there was a study on airline pilots on, on protecting themselves from UV light and, and eyewear. And they found, this is a few years ago, they found that, that fewer and fewer pilots were wearing sunglasses in the cockpit. And yeah, they they asked why, and the, the reason was it two twofold, uh, two reasons, and that is that that they uh, uh, they interfere with their headset, and it makes it harder to see the instrument panel. Well, we've solved that. You know, m many many more airline pilots and corporate pilots are wearing uh, ANR over the ear headsets than they used to instead of the the thin little telexes because. It's loud in the cockpit, even 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 in jets, uh, you get wind noise from from uh, from the windshields um, at at altitude. And long term hearing damage is serious, and you don't want it, that to happen. It's why, you know, old pilots are are a little hard of hearing, um, and we want to we want to keep that from happening as much as possible. So we're wearing, you know, much more uh, capable modern ANR headsets. So transitions are photochromic. It means they darken in uh, uh, sunlight and they go clear uh, when it's not sunny. Transitions Extra Active, Transitions is a brand name. Extra Active is their model of photochromic lenses uh, that are the only ones that will actually darken in the cockpit. Um, the, re the way that, that photo regular photochromic lenses work is they use um, uh, a UV sensitive um, uh, and, and light sensitive uh, uh, light and so they work up at you know altitude very very well because of the strong uv light but but anywhere under the flight levels uh regular photochromics may not work that well transitions extra active does it has an extra layer of of material special material that 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 is patented that allows them to darken in the cockpit on a you know sunny day uh, anywhere you you know anywhere you happen to be it makes a big difference. It's, uh, it's very impressive the way it works. So no matter whose glasses you're buying, whether it's ours or, or, or competitors, uh, the most important things as a pilot are that they're non-polarized. There's a, a, a long um, held belief that um, uh, polarized lenses somehow protect your eyes better than non-polarized. Not true. Uh, what you want to look for at a minimum is uh, a logo in on your glasses that says UV 400. 
that is a that, that is a standard that eyewear companies uh, uh, adhere to. That is a uh, a minimum. Uh, it's it's better than than what the FDA requires, uh, but it's not necessarily 100%. Um, our glasses, all of our glasses, block 100% of UV light. Additionally, you want um, glasses that have some form of impact resistant lenses. Uh, glass uh, may, you know, have, uh, you know, you, you may like them because of their clarity, um, uh, but they will shatter on impact. If you have a bird strike, you will get shards of glasses and glass in your eyes. Um, they will shatter. Uh, some plastics, uh, some plastic lenses will shatter on impact. Um, the best lenses you can get these days are, are polycarbonate, which is impact resistant. Uh, and if you're getting uh, prescription lenses, you want Trivex. Trivex offers the, the, um, the clarity, uh, uh, amazing clarity, uh, and impact resistance of, of polycarbonate. Uh, in addition to, you know, being comfortable under headsets and helmets um, and, and making sure they are the right size so that they fit, People like to have a pair of glasses that they can just wear all the time and they're very happy with how they look in them. So it's, uh, it, uh, we will continue to innovate and introduce new frame shapes uh, that, uh, that also work on our helmets and headsets. Um, and uh, uh, ophthalmic lenses, very, very high on our list um, at that, uh, you know, that you can just wear as, as you know, regular glasses. If you need glasses with prescription lenses that you would wear you know, anywhere, uh, we're working on that too. Typical price for a uh, standard uh, flying eyes uh, glasses yep. without prescriptions. Without prescription, uh, they range from uh, 179 to 229. FlyingEyesOptics.com is our website, uh, or uh, all of our social media channels, uh, Facebook and Instagram and, and Twitter, is uh, at Flying Eyes World is uh, is our handle for for the for all those channels and. Uh, uh, love to hear from you. We'd love to hear from, from uh, whether, whether you're a customer or not. Uh, we'd love to hear from you and to get your input and advice on uh, how we can improve things. You can read a full report on optics for aviators in an upcoming issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Oh, and one other thing, the struggle is real trying to pull off masks, microphones, and plastic mustaches. We finally got it tweaked using thin templed flying eyes. Thanks for watching this.